And when I told people that I was going to Nigeria, one of the things said to me were, Be very careful. Let me get us close. It is the jungle. Don't kidnap you. These were the things said to me by other people. But the truth is, it was actually the same perception that I have of Nigeria. But upon arriving here, I found myself questioning that perception. Is this the Nigeria that I was always warned about? Is this the Nigeria that has been painted with so many negative descriptions? Because one of my first surprises was the affordability of goods and services in Nigeria compared to Gambia. When I saw the prices of basic stuff like food and fuel, and I was shocked. I was like, why are these Nigerians complaining, man? When I wanted to replace my skin in Gambia, the cost was twenty. Five thousand dollars, but here I got it replaced for two hundred thousand naira. The type of mansions that I see here, wow, man! Well, one thing that you know you have to upload Nigeria for is their sense of possible. But it's offline, it doesn't. Mm. Because you must make money now. Ah, who feed you? Yeah, You're on your own. Yeah. You have to make money because of that. I feel like you know everyone wants to make money by any means possible. Whether you are harming people or you are doing damage to the society or the environment or you are giving bad name to Nigerians, it really doesn't matter because you gotta get it by any means. That's half, yes. That's fried beans. Fried, yeah. Akara, no, Akara, we have Akara in here. Do you quite Akara as well? Yeah, because of okay. Akara. Okay. There are things that are happening in Nigeria, but to tell you the truth, I feel like it is exaggerated around the world. You know, I've been here, I've seen the place, I went around. I can tell you that a lot of it is exaggerated. Nigerians have a bad PR around the world. Even myself, before, you know, the way I look at Nigerians and now it's different. Even in Gambia, when I see a Nigerian, I just be really... Hello, you welcome to my channel. I'm your baby girl. Just... <laughs> you got a Nigerian. Hello, guys, you welcome to my channel. I'm your girl. People just... like this lady, eh? Instead of you to, to go, you welcome to my channel. So, this adorable. Hello, you welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Just Cheesy. So, in this video, is a Gambian brother who has toured the streets of Lagos. Like, guys, this is actually one of the videos that I've fallen in love with. You can't believe that this guy, this Gambian guy, he told his friends, he told people that he wants to travel to Nigeria, that he wants to tour in Nigeria and people discouraged him like a whole lot of people were like oh don't go they are rich only so Nigerians are this Nigerians are that they will do you this they will do you that but this guy insisted and took a rest and traveled to Nigeria but what he saw in Nigeria hmm I'm, I'm sure that he wouldn't even want to go back anymore. This guy actually spent seven days in Lagos, but trust me, that seven days was so awesome. It was amazing. He had an amazing experience in Lagos, Nigeria. His perspective about how he viewed Nigerian changed immediately, and he got to understand that things, in fact, everything was exaggerated that Nigerians are actually welcoming, they are loving people, they are kind hearted, they are beautiful people. Like he learned a whole lot about Nigerians. He got to know about the culture and everything and how people get to hustle in Nigeria. I've heard so many things about Nigeria, especially Lagos. And when I told people that I was going to Nigeria, one of the things said to me were, Be very careful. Let me get us close. It is the jungle. Don't kidnap you. These were the things said to me by other people. But the truth is, it was actually the same perception that I have of Nigeria. But upon arriving here, I found myself questioning that perception. Is this the Nigeria that I was always warned about? Is this the Nigeria that has been painted with so many negative descriptions? Because I found out that majority of the population were not actually like that. I found Nigerians to be wonderful people, warm, open, and friendly. I couldn't help but feel like a profound sense of belonging. My skin just went blank. So it means today I'm going to explore Lagos without Google Maps, without anything. I hope I don't get lost. Well done. Do you know uh, 34 Saka Chinubu Street? So I fixed my screen. One of my first surprises was the affordability of goods and services in Nigeria compared to Gambia. When I saw the prices of basic stuff like food and fuel, and I was shocked. I was like, why are these Nigerians complaining, man? When I wanted to replace my skin in Gambia, the cost was $25,000. But here I got it replaced for 200,000 Naira. The same thing for books. Books that cost around one thousand two hundred dollars in Gambia, I got them here for three thousand five hundred naira. Metro now is five fifty eight. Before it was one hundred sixty five. But even it being this expensive five hundred and sixty naira, it is still cheaper than Gambia. But the thing is, Nigeria they have like oil. Gambia we don't have this. <laughs> The type of mansions that I see here, wow man. Well, one thing that you know you have to upload Nigeria for so is their sense of possible. But it's offline, it doesn't. Mm. Because you must make money now. Ah, who won't feed you? Yeah, on your own. <laughs>
I feel like that sense of also comes from the approach here. So there's this culture of stepping on next, showing the next man what you have. So, I mean, if you're in an environment that is always, they always like pro-shaming you that you don't have money. How much are you earning? Obviously, you know, that would put a, like a sense of, you have to make money. Because of that, I feel like, you know, everyone wants to make money by any means possible. Whether you are harming people or you are doing damage to the society or the environment or you are giving bad name to Nigerians, it really doesn't matter because you got to get it by any means. <laughs> Just in dealing with Nigerians and my observation and going around, I see the way they do things. Man, Nigerians are like some high IQ individuals. I actually called one of my Nigerian friends. I told him that, ah, boy, God did not give Nigerians the big head for, for no reason. Like, you actually use your head, you know? Yeah, without this, you cannot go in. So I just got this for like uh, 500 naira. And then the transport to Ikurudu is like 350 naira. Yeah, so I think Lagos. Is Yes, that's fried beans. Fried, yeah, Akara, I know Akara, we have Akara in here. Do you call it Akara as well? Yeah, we call it Akara. Oh. Yeah, why, why do you all, always go out? Why don't you just work in your country? To me, I just wanted to experience that, that, like, what uh, that Gambia. It's only one person I know. So when I now went to Gambia, they tell me that I want to do that. And I say that, I'm going to do the job. Let me go back to my country and face my work back. But I, 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 I love Gambia. So nice to see you. Yeah, you too, man. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. 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 Yeah, you too, man. Uh, people have warned me several times, but don't go here, don't, you know, even my friend who is in Nigeria, and I told him that, okay, he told me, okay, when you're going to the mainland, make sure you move in twos, you know, <laughs> and I've been going to places alone with my camera and doing stuff. I'm not gonna lie, man, things are happening in Nigeria, but to tell you the truth, I feel like it is exaggerated around the world. You know, I've been here, I've seen the place, I went around, I can tell you, uh, a lot of it is exaggerated. Nigerians have a bad PR around the world. Even myself, before, you know, the way I look at Nigerians, and now it's different. Even in Canada, when I see a Nigerian, I just be really... Ninety-five percent who are law-abiding and contribute positively to various aspects of society get to face like judgments and discrimination. One time I was coming from Ogun State to Lagos, our bus was stopped by the police, and I was the only one asked questions. And I figured maybe it's because I look different or something. Why, why did you stop me? Yeah, I just said Yahoo. Oh, that's why I asked you where you from. What do you do? Uh, you think I'm a Yahoo bus? Uh, oh, <laughs> that's mad. Are there scarfish in there? Yeah, there's scarfish in there. Awesome. <laughs> nice one. What is this doing me? I'm open to try any food. I may have anything you bring, I will chop out. Ah, this is spicy, yeah. Switch in the place. <laughs> Ah, so this is Pam Kano. I want to go to the island. I want to go to the island. What I like the most about Nigerians is like how open-minded they are. Yeah, man. That, uh, you give them that. Anyone can come here and just do your stuff, man. Anyone from any... Yes. It's crazy how, you know, I know a Nigerian who in Gambia, smarter than bio, he says, like, Gambia is his, he's like Europe. Some people are complaining about Gambia, and meanwhile, the Nigerian in Gambia said Gambia is like his Europe, and then the Nigerians are complaining about Nigeria, and then there's a Gambian here who said, like, Nigeria is like his Europe. And, I, and so it shows you that, you know, the world, yeah, in our life, was here, man. <laughs> Adam, 
Yeah. He was president before. He was a military man before. And he came against military president? Yes, so after retirement. He's now a civilian president, sure. Oh. Ibrahim. No, Nile is exactly right. Yeah. So they form a color blend, just like the Nile. Mm -hmm. Ultimate, ultimate Lagos experience, sir. Huh? I'll advise you to use the, the public transportation. The, the experience is unmatched. I don't. We've been stuck in this traffic for the past like two hours or so. Lagos traffic is so bad that drivers turn up their engine, get out of the car and go and sit at the roadside and start chatting. I'm not even exaggerating. This is how bad Lagos traffic is. This was like my biggest frustration. Bye 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 bye. Easy, but these roads are not good. And the road is no good, and I walk in the road. I walk in the road. But I cannot walk. This place is far. I cannot walk. I manage the house. You see me? I get off at the road. Where I'm from, I get off at the road. I'm going to drive. I'm going to drive my own. I'm going to drive my own. That one, let me see. This fish is big, though. Yeah, this is the fish you saw. This is the catfish. I don't know me. I don't know if you don't know. Look at this. Look at this. I don't know if you don't jack for your head. Why do you do this? That's a good position. It's a cost. Ah, this is the cause. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a strand in the drama. <laughs> yeah, we are sweet. So, if you are sweet, there's no doubt that you are sweet. Yeah. Man, I really, really, really love Lagos, man. The thing is, no matter what time it is, whether it is raining cats and dogs, or it's late at night, man, you get a car at any time. You know? And I'm talking about public transportation, man. So many things that they say on Twitter about Nigeria, I came here, it's not like as it is. I feel like they exaggerate. Mm. How long have you been here now? It's now like uh, seven days. Ah, you've not really stayed. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 as well. Sincerely, you have not really known us. Well, by the time you stay like a month, mm. you will understand better. <laughs> One thing that I really like about the Nigerians is like how they have like a natural sense of humor. They are effortlessly funny. It's not like they're trying so hard to be funny. It just seems to be like a part of their character. It's, it's really so hard to be stressed in Lagos, especially if you use public transportation. <laughs> So today is actually like my last day in Lagos. So that was awesome, guys. I think one of the biggest problems that Africans are facing is simply hearsay. Yes, a lot of us um proceed in condemning one another, even though we've not really visited them uh, to know if actually that is how they are and stuff like that. I don't know if you're getting it. And we go on to condemn those people without even getting to know them very very well without even getting to know them more and more like this gambian brother he hasn't been to nigeria before so when he wanted to visit nigeria a lot of people um discouraged him from coming to nigeria oh they will do you this oh they are first stars they will do you this one they do oh you'll not come back alive hey come on i guess you guys saw how this young man enjoyed himself like 
he, he fell in love with Nigeria. And after exploring in Lagos, he, he even traveled to um, Abuja. That's to tell you that he was actually cruising. He, he actually uh, had fun in Nigeria. That it wasn't at, as they said, it wasn't uh, as like he, he felt he came to Nigeria and you got to understand that most of those things were exaggerated he said that nigerians are not actually bad as people were exaggerating right from his experience he made us to understand that 95 percent of nigerians are actually nice like they are kind-hearted and they are nice then the remaining five percent are actually the ones causing problems and all that now according to this gambian brother he said that even the five percent they were denting nigerian image is enough to be a whole nation because nigeria is overpopulated and that is actually truth so, so thank you so much for staying up to this moment i still remain your girl just cheesy if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel like and share my videos please if you haven't subscribed to my backup channel please kindly subscribe to my backup channel support your girl by subscribing to my backup channel thank you so much africa i love you all thank you i love you